there Natalie with you today with a new process video for Scrapbook Nerd and today I want to show you an idea on how to create a very simple layout very I'm gonna say very out of what I usually do using a honey um, Heidi Swap sorry honey and spice collection and I love this collection it's available at the shop I actually had requested Joy to get it for me just because I love the colors and actually uh, there's a feature of um, Boston Terrier and if you guys have known my work you guys know that I'm a mother of a Boston Terrier so what I have done outside of the camera is I cut these uh, frames. These are from Handy Papier. My friend Ina has uh, created them and they're available at her shop. And I love the fact they're a Polaroid. So I had this idea of creating a cluster of them and actually have a picture right just on one of them. So you're going to see that I cut the center one a little bit bigger than the other ones. I've cut it out of a white cardstock. And the first thing I'm going to do is I know one of the, I want to stash or want to hide one of the Polaroids kind of coming from behind the center central one the one that I cut larger so I know that the flowers that they have on the side I don't need them so I'm just gonna trim them off my little uh, Polaroid uh, frame so what I'm gonna do right now so I'm just gonna use the paper pad and I have the 12 by 12 paper pad what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna back the cut file and for that I'm gonna pick up colors I want to stay really in the pinks and the blushes for the flowers and also the greens so I picked this paper and I love the paper because a lot of distress on it and the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add glue behind uh, the outline of the flower uh, touch it to the paper and then I'm gonna fussy cut around it. this is one of the ways that you can back a cut file also you can also uh, uh, draw uh, use a pencil to draw the outline and then you just can fussy cut around it you won't have to like you know have to glue it and careful you just you know kind of create a template with your outline you can also create it on the cam it's a little bit more complicated but it's doable I just enjoy this um, I mean I had the afternoon free so I just spend my time doing this i don't mind it i i love how this turned out so you're gonna see that i'm just gonna continue working i'm gonna take it in and out of the camera i'm gonna show you a little bit of how i build my um flower my polaroid frames in this case and how i back the flowers and i really love this paper that has all the colors so i'm gonna pick up some of the colors from it to back the flowers now to back the polaroids you're gonna see that i did not throw the negative parts that means the parts that came like that formed the outside of the um, frame and the reason that i didn't throw them is because i'm going to use them to help me center the frame especially because it's such a fine uh, frame so all i'm doing right now is just adding glue to the outline that i cut of the polaroid and then i'm going to use this gray paper there's a few gray papers in the in the collection and these are the ones that i'm going to use to back the polaroid so you're going to see that i'm put uh, my die cut on the paper and then I'm going to bring the negative part just to make sure that everything is centered and straight even though it's a little bit crooked at the end you're going to see there's some lines that are not completely straight but it's better than just having flimsy uh, frames uh, having a negative piece it just helps you center everything and keep everything nice and straight so you're going to see that I'm going to just use this um, I'm going to put the negative piece of the polar just to help me move the lines I'm going to glue everything in place cut around the frame just to the same thing as I did before kind of fussy cut around the frame but then i want to have the inside of the polaroid polaroids empty usually i use an exacto knife my mind broke so all i'm going to do is kind of pretty much punch a hole with the scissors right in the center of the polaroid and then just go around uh, the frame just to kind of hollow the polaroid uh, frame and once i have that i'm going to continue working on the other ones and you're going to see that like i said all my polaroid frames are gray there's a few papers that have tons of gray and i really wanted that because it makes the flowers stand out so all i'm doing right now is just playing with what everything is gonna like kind of form in my background and then i'm gonna bring a picture of my daughter i had a few that i was debating which one to use and i went with a black and white just because i think i want to first of all i want to use a non uh white background so the black and white is going to stand out and i really Really love this picture of her this picture of her on Halloween and that's her costume that flower on her head that was her costume so um once again I'm just gonna add some glue behind the Polaroid and just glue it right onto the picture and fussy cut it so that it fits inside of it and then you're gonna see that I'm bringing uh, this paper this is one of the collections like I said I'm not going with a white background and uh, I missed a little part of the beginning of this I thought I was filming but I didn't so all I'm doing is adding a little bit of white acrylic paint and this is just white paint that I have, have on my stash I am using a synthetic uh, bristle um, water brush and I just want something a little bit sturdier because I want to 
to create a feathering effect on my paper you're gonna see that I'm kind of hazing the entire area but what I did is I just put the frames on the paper marked more or less the idea where I have them and I'm just gonna add the white to the top I don't want it to you're gonna see that I'm not making completely white I'm just adding really light brush strokes so that it creates kind of a fog a kind of haze on the paper you're still gonna see the background but it's just gonna look like a small cloud on top of it so you're gonna see that I bring the frames right now um, and kind of set them in place making sure that the white area that I'm gonna create is gonna come gonna come behind the frames not um not cover the entire paper so once i have that in place i'm gonna set aside to dry it takes no time to dry because it's such a light application and i'm just going really lightly and like like i said kind of feathering on the paper that it takes like around it took me like five minutes to dry this up um once i you're gonna see that i have that in place my next thing was what am i gonna back the polaroid uh frames with like you know the empty ones i debated between uh backing them with some tags because there's a the collection has some tags in them i had a few ideas uh and then i chose um this collection comes with a vellum paper that has this beautiful floral pattern in like a foil in a rose gold foil kind of a copper tone i loved it so you're gonna see that i'm actually gonna pick one of the little stems the top of the paper just to create a little scene not a scene it's just it's gonna pop for in the polaroid in the background in one of them and then on the other one i'm just gonna make it with the top of the vellum where it's completely white and you're gonna see again i'm just adding a little bit of glue behind my frame glue it onto the po onto the polaroid onto the vellum sorry and then just fussy cut around it because i just want the little peeking of the flower kind of situation in that frame and then the other one i'm just gonna make it plain white once i have that in place i'm gonna go ahead and actually build um put this together you you saw that i added a foam adhesive behind the picture just because i want to create a little bit of lift i want to make sure that the picture is the one that stands out so once i glue it in place i'm gonna bring the first frame the one that i added that piece of vellum with the florals on it and i'm gonna put it towards the left of the picture kind of kind of hanging off a little bit crooked i don't want it to be straight i just want the picture to be straight and the other ones are going to be a little bit on the slant once i glue that in place i'm going to add a little bit of foam adhesive behind it just to give it a little bit of a lift and the other frame i'm going to put it if it's going to form a soft diagonal kind of a soft arch um on towards the right of the page so you're going to see that it forms like i said a soft diagonal once i put them in place i realized that they were a little bit off they were not right on the center so my choice and i was thinking about framing this anyways so i'm going to trim the paper so that i can center the frames you're gonna see that i take a little bit of the top i'm gonna take a little bit of the bottom and i'm gonna take quite a bit of the right of the page because the left is fine but the right a bit too there was a lot of space on the right so i'm gonna take some of that and then i went into the paper pattern found this black and white paper it's a really soft pattern so i'm gonna cut a frame around a one and a half inch and i'm gonna glue the the piece of paper right onto it not a piece of paper my uh, my layer right onto it so that it, it is centered and i love the fact that you see the frame peeking out because i added that um all that uh, mixed media to the paper it didn't fold that much but there's a little bit of a fold on the paper so it looks really nice when you put it on the background it looks like a different layer i love how that turned out and you're gonna see that i crease the edges a little bit all i have to do right now is decorate i find another in the this is the ephemera pack there's a few flowers that are also on vellum so i pulled one of them and then i went and fussy cut a few leaves from the vellum the another specialty paper and then i found these vellum pieces that said hello and beautiful so that's going to be my title uh the way i'm attaching this so that you don't see it is i'm actually using glue dots behind it a little bit some of them have dimensional ones so they're a little bit uh, there's a bit of a lift and to glue the beautiful i actually cut little pieces of a foam adhesive and i attach them right behind the letters so you won't see them once i have that in place all i have to do is actually embellish and for that i'm going to use pieces from the collection i actually have the uh, ephemera pack the tags and the cardstock stickers lots to do um to use to decorate you're gonna see i'm gonna add something small to each one of the frames i don't want to add much because i think the flower is doing a lot of work so i'm just adding little phrase um they're also kind of most of them are made out of vellum so i just wanted that texture added to it uh, and then what i'm gonna do at the end is i'm gonna add some stuff 
starts because I know I wanna I, I wanna create something that just um, repeats to bring my triangle together. I also added that label I cut it in half just to bulk it up because I think the right hand side of the page is really a little bit more heavier. So by adding that little uh, circular uh, frame or the circular uh, sticker, just kind of repeats the circular um, item that I have on the right and also makes it a little bit heavier so it balances out. And then I'm adding my lines with journal right underneath the title. I'm gonna bring those little um, star sequence I have him from um a previous layer no a previous collection from pink paisley i just had it in my stash once i have that ready you're gonna see that i added um, my like i said my lancet journal right and in the title using white uh, pen and then all i'm doing right now is diluting some of the white paint that i used and just splattering a little bit around the page and what you don't see on um on the camera is that i also added a little bit of a uh, copper uh color shine that i had on my stash and that's about it i love how this turned out very simple it took me very little time to put together even though it was late and during the day while i was working on this love 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 how this turned out everything that i use you can find a scrapbook nerd uh, Joe was really nice at getting this collection i really requested it from her but i know it's available at the shop make sure you check it out like i said the cut file is from handy Pair. you can find it on etsy you can find it on instagram my friend ina has beautiful cut files as always if you have any questions do not hesitate to contact me i would love to help you thank you so much for joining me and i really hope to see you soon um don't forget to check the stuff take care guys